Welcome. I am Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and today it's all about serving you God's recipe for excellent health. And today I want to teach you what is the immune system? How does the immune system work and why it matters, especially in a time period in history where we are being bombarded with viruses and a lot of control issues being put in place. And I'm also going to share with you seven foods that are going to help prime your immune system. And this is where we stay in charge of our health. So I can't wait to get started, but before we do, be sure and whatever platform you're listening to us on, be sure and hit the like, subscribe, comments. I love your comments. So let's get started. Body's defense against infection and how the body fights illness. So when germs such as bacteria or viruses, when they invade the body, they actually attack and multiply. Now this invasion is called an infection. You're familiar with that. It's also what causes an illness. Yet God created an entourage of warriors to help you fight the infection. And they come from the blood. Blood has been called the river of life because they transport critical elements from one part of the body to the other. Now these elements also build your defense. Blood represents life and is definitely the river of life. Life in Jesus is the absence of the penalty of sin because Jesus' blood cleanses us from all sin. For as the life of all flesh, it's the blood, is identified with its life. It says that in Leviticus 17, 14. And in Ephesians 1, 7, it says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. There you go. Now, blood contains red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells, they have a job of transporting oxygen to the body's tissues. And they and do this also exchange for carbon dioxide. Then they carry the carbon dioxide to the lungs to be expelled through your mouth and your nose. Now, if less oxygen is available to breathe, then we're going to have symptoms such as rapid breathing, rapid heart rate, clumsiness, emotional upsets, and fatigue. All of this can result when we're not able to breathe out that carbon dioxide. Now, red blood cells are formed in the red bone marrow of our bones. The formation of a red blood cell takes about two days. <laughs> And the body makes about 2 million red blood cells every second. <laughs> That's a lot. Blood consists of 45% red blood cells and less than 1% white blood cells. And then you have the platelets and the plasma. White blood cells. This is your army. White blood cells or your immune cells are fighting infections. And yet they're only 1% of your blood, but they're as powerful as any army God has ever put together. Now these white cells consist primarily of what we call macrophages. They also have B lymphocytes and they have T lymphocytes. Macrophages, fun word. Macrophages are white blood cells that swallow up and digest germs, plus any dead or dying cells. Now the macrophages leave behind parts of the invading germs called antigens. The body identifies the antigens as dangerous and it stimulates antibodies to attack them. Then we have our B cells, B as in boy. Now they're defensive white blood cells. They produce antibodies that attack the antigens that are left behind by the macrophages. You see, we have a process. The third type of cell is our T cells. Now this is another type of defensive white blood cell. They attack cells in the body that have already been infected. Now the first time the body encounters a germ, it can take several days to make and use all of the germ fighting tools needed to get over that infection. After the infection, the immune system remembers what it learned about how to protect the body against that particular disease. And the body keeps a few T cells called memory cells that go into action quickly if it, the body encounters that same germ again. When the familiar antigens are detected, the B cells produce antibodies to attack them. And this all happens in our blood. Remember, our blood is a river of life, a life that builds and yet it also defends. 
Now we have other lines of defense that God created. We have three tiers of protection against parasites, bacteria, molds, yeast, fungi, and viruses. And this is such a beautiful design. So first we have the natural physical defense, and you are already familiar with this. This is your skin and also this mucous membrane that we have in our lungs and our digestive tract, also in your nose. Our tears are hydrochloric acid in the stomach and also that friendly bacteria in your gut also play a role in this natural protection. This helps our system to fight and protect us from foreign substances that could really harm us. Now then we have what is called the innate immune system. Now when you cut through your skin, the white blood cells are called macrophages. We've already talked about that. Now you understand how macrophages work. So they're going to rush to the site and engulf and destroy any harmful bacteria that could enter the cut. Now this is going to cause inflammation and swelling, yet that's the process God designed. That means healing is happening. The third is the adaptive immune system. If the innate system is overwhelmed or you know ineffective at repelling an invader, the third line of defense is going to come into play. I just love God's design. Now this is a highly sophisticated system which is designed to protect us against more complex assaults by, let's just say for an example, a virus, such as ones that we've faced in the last couple of years. Now what we eat can either support or destroy our immune system. Our food choices make sure it's in good working order if we're eating healthfully, particularly when we're stressed or we have a severe work or training schedule. This can all come to play as to either helping our immune system or harming it. Making the right food choices and getting enough exercise and managing our stress is going to determine the health of your immune system. So this can positively affect and strengthen your natural defenses. Now the immune system needs well over 20 different micronutrients to function properly. Ideally, we're going to get these nutrients from the foods, yet a high quality multivitamin is very much recommended and we never go a day without it. So here are six food choices to contribute to healthy, happy days ahead. First of all, let's look at vitamin D. Your immune cells, including macrophages from the white blood cells, contain vitamin D receptors. To understand receptors, just imagine that you, are, you own a mom and pop store. Don't you want every single parking place to be filled with happy customers? Well, that's similar to these receptors. There are vitamin D receptors throughout your whole body, and when they're filled, then you are happy. Now, these immune cells are activated to fight infection when they're necessary. Vitamin D's role is to reduce the inflammation cells. So if you have respiratory infection, vitamin D is going to increase the antimicrobial immune cells, such as your neutrophils and your natural killer cells. Now, vitamin D is so important. I've talked about it so many times to those who are on our email list, so make sure you're signed up for our email. You can get vitamin D just from the sun exposure. So like today is a beautiful sunny day. I could get lots of UV rays. But we also need to supplement. We need to make sure we're getting a good dose of vitamin D. So when healthy foods are consumed, like let's say oily fish, salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, and even eggs, that gives us vitamin D. Yet supplementing is very necessary. So like I said, go to my blogs or my website, make sure you're on my email so I can keep you updated on vitamin D information. Now, selenium. Now, just this is just a trace element, yet selenium is crucial for your immune system to function normally. And when you have a deficiency, it results in a weakened immune system response. And it's also, you're gonna have a diminished ability to fight viral infections, and they're all around us. Now, selenium has a partner that it loves to walk with, and that's vitamin E. And when selenium and vitamin E are always at a healthy amount in your body, you have less results of breast cancer. Brazil nuts are the richest natural source of selenium. Now this is going to depend on the soil that food is grown in, so always keep that in mind. Also, um, when you have Brazil nuts, make sure you store them in a cool place. Milling your own wheat is another good source, but so is fish, whole grains, spinach, beans, lentils, all of those foods are going to help you get selenium in your diet. Next is probiotics. The intestine is composed of three kinds of defenses that work together. So that's good bacteria, the intestinal wall, and the immune system. 
probiotics are required for all three of these to be strong and to fight for us. Probiotics, they have to resist the stomach acid and they must be in a sufficient quantity in our food and our supplements. And then we've also known that there are certain strains of probiotics that have been shown to reduce, let's just say, the duration of your respiratory infection. There's other strains that balance the intestinal microbiome. And you know that's my favorite topic. And this also is going to support normal digestion and strengthen your immune system. Now, probiotics are now recognized to greatly help with mental fitness and overall better resistance to anxiety. How many of you would love that? So if you are someone who wants that mental edge and you're a professional, you got this professional career going on, you want to benefit greatly from these specific probiotics, then you need to message me and I'll give you a clue to that. You can also boost friendly gut bacteria by consuming probiotic rich milk, yogurts, and other dairy items, but they have to be good quality. And also taking a pre and probiotic supplements that guarantee delivery. Okay, the next topic is omega-3. Omega-3 fats are very essential for your, immune for your immune system. And they work by increasing the activity of different parts of your white blood cells that destroy the bacteria. So these fats also help strengthen our cell membranes and therefore they speed up the healing and they strengthen your resistance to infection in the body. This is just so delightful. <laughs> Eating a minimum of one portion of omega-3 rich oily fish, let's say salmon, mackerel, tuna, every week is just really good for your heart, your joint, and your immune system. It's also been proven that when we carry excess weight around our belly, it correlates to a compromised immune system. Excess fat is associated with a compromised immune system, immune function, um, chronic inflammation, and just an increased risk of infection. So the general rule that's accepted for your waist circumference is for women, it's to stay below 35, and for men, it's to stay below 40. I really believe this is too high. I highly recommend for my clients that we get the waistline below 33, and for men, below 38. Now, of course, it's gonna depend on your build. Everything depends on your build. Every, not everyone fits into that program. Next is zinc. Now this is a mineral that helps develop white blood cells, immune cells that fight this foreign bacteria and these viruses. A zinc deficiency can greatly increase your risk of infection. We've learned a lot about zinc with this current virus that we're dealing with. Now zinc is found in abundance in meats in foods such as meats and pumpkin seeds and nuts and greens, all of those foods. Then we have vitamins A, E, and C. Now, each week, if you're following me on the grocery discovery videos, you know that I always teach you about different foods, and they always have vitamins A, C, and E. And this is important because all of God's foods, when you're eating a raw diet, not necessarily a completely raw diet, but a very healthy diet, eating by the three principles that I've taught you in other videos and in all of my books, then you're always going to have the highest quality food. So the best diet is going to have two fruits a day and five cups of vegetables. And then don't forget mushrooms. Mushrooms also help in the production of white blood cells. Broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables such as cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower are all good sources of these vitamins that I talk about, vitamins A, C, and E. Now broccoli contains actually glucose glucosinolate, I have a hard time saying that, which helps you stimulate the body's immune system. It has B2, which is also found in broccoli. It's vital for growth and vision and just a healthy immune system. <laughs> All right, let's do a review. Our immune system is designed to fight for us and it works better than any vaccination you can ever have because it's designed by God. Vaccinations are designed in a lab. When we feed our body well, if we're preparing for a fight, then relax and know you're doing what you're called to do. Our blood is a river of life and we can keep that river running well as we eat God's foods according to the three principles, meditate on God's word so our T cells can stay ready to fight for us. As I share in many of the conferences as we travel around the country, when we just say the word, God loves me, our T cell count goes up. As you recognize God is the head of your army, your body responds. 
When you just say God loves me, your entire immune system is more primed and ready to fight for you. So let me challenge you today to vaccinate your immune system by saying God loves me. I just want to thank you for letting me share with you today God's recipe for excellent health. And it includes what you believe, what you think, what you say, how you speak God's word, how you rest on the amazing grace of his love, and you just let his words meditate and marinate your entire body. Every single cell in your body loves to marinate in those words, God loves me. Thanks for letting me share with you today. I am Annette Reader from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and I love to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. As you go to that website, sign up for the emails, you get my seven steps to amazing biblical health and that's the, where I start every one of my clients so that they can get started on this journey. Thanks for watching.